Hey everybody! Welcome to the beautiful North Carolina Zoo and this is Zoo Science. I'm Cynthia, the Conservation Education and Science Division of our beautiful zoo and today we're going to talk about something I'm not sure if you've even ever heard of. It's called a polymer. Now it's fun with polymers today. You might ask what the heck is a polymer and that's a good question. Well the Greek word polymer stands for many parts, okay? And polymers are just really large molecules made up of a chain of smaller parts. And some polymers have amazing abilities to absorb liquids. We call those the super absorbent polymers or saps. So let me show you something. These are polymer crystals. See that? They start, they look like big chunks of sea salt, don't they? They're just hard crystals, but they may not look like a whole lot to you now, but when you add water to saps, super absorbent polymer, they end up looking like this. Guys, these are those crystals with water added, and they're so fun to play with. Super absorbent polymers can actually absorb over 300 times their weight in liquid. So that is a pretty amazing feature, I think. And that's how they work. You just add water, they get kind of slimy and gooey. They're fun to play with. They're non-toxic, right? And they just have all kinds of neat qualities. Now, where may you have come across a polymer in your life? Well, how many of you have baby brothers or sisters? If you do, you've seen polymers at work. Diapers or pull-ups, right? Here's one that has not been worn or used, but when they get wet, have you noticed your brothers or sisters, they kind of get bulky and heavy? Well, there's polymers in there. I used green to show you so that you could see, but this is just green water, but it's absorbed by the polymers that they build into the diaper and it absorbs all that liquid when they wet and that keeps them from leaking out, right? So polymers are in a lot of places. You may not expect them. What about something as simple as a sponge? Anybody ever spill something? Gotta go get a sponge and clean it up. Have you ever heard of this? Cellulose? Cellulose is a polymer. It's a naturally occurring polymer that you can find in plants and they make sponges out of it. So if you haven't used a sponge in a while, sure, it's kind of dry and thin and stiff, but when you dip it in a liquid, it gets thicker and it takes in a whole lot of water, right? So that water level went down because it was absorbed into that polymer or cellulose sponge. Kind of cool. Now, a really interesting and delicious use of polymers is in something called jello or gelatin. Anyone ever tried that? I bet you have. Gelatin is a polymer. Starts out like this powdery crystal that's dry, not much, but when you add water, stir it, let it sit for a while, yum! You get that really cool, delicious gel that we like to call Jello, right? How yummy is that? Oh, and by the way, if you're like me and you've bumped your elbows, knees, and toes time and time again, maybe you've seen these really sweet cool packs that you can keep in the freezer. They've got polymers in them too. Absorb that water, freeze that water, put it on your boo-boo, much better. But how do we relate polymers to the zoo? This is zoo science after all, right? So we got to do that. Well, I have some friends called crickets. And lots of our animals here at the zoo enjoy a delicious snack of crickets. Birds will eat them, lizards will eat them, even mammals will eat them. But just like we care for all of our animals, we have to provide food and water for these crickets. We can't give them a big bowl of water. They're not really good swimmers, and if they were to get in a bowl of water, they could get in there and drown. Well, polymer crystals to the rescue. We can put in a dish of them, 
crickets can get in, sip the fluid off of those gel crystals, and yum, a delicious non-toxic drink. Also, a lot of horticulturists use polymers. You can put polymers in soil and in areas where water is scarce, like in the desert. Uh, they mix those polymers in with our soil and that really helps the plants absorb because they hold so much water. So in areas where water is scarce, they come in so handy. And you may have even seen them some places use these beautiful beads. Look, these are just polymers that have absorbed colored water and have become beautiful. You put your plants in there or your um, cut flowers and they make a great arrangement. So really, really cool. And you guys can come up with all kinds of ways to use polymers as well. You can order them online. You can get them at floral shops or landscaping shops. They're non-toxic, so it won't hurt for you to play with them. But do me a favor. Don't throw them down the drain when you're done playing with them. Remember, they bulk up and get much bigger than their original size when they're in water, so they could clog your plumbing. So just make sure you dispose of them properly. And I can't wait to see all the things you come up with when you're playing with polymers. Thanks for hanging with me today, guys. See you next time.